Biotechnica. Welcome back again. Today I'll be talking about one of the important examinations. Suppose if you want to do your master's or your PhD, which is TIFRGS 2023 exam alert for all the MSc graduates, integrated PhD and for PhD, if you want to apply, you can apply through this examination and the application portal has started. So you can start applying from 12th of October 2022, which is from today, and it can be continued till 31st of October 2022. And in this video, I'll be talking about what are the documents that you'll be requiring at the time of application and how is the application process going to be all in detail and make sure you watch the video completely and do not miss anything at any point of time. So with no more delay, let's get started to the video. So TAFR is a premier institute which is recruiting graduates for masters as well as for a PhD degrees. So you have to go through a return examination and then there would be an interview process. Suppose if you want to do your PhD, you can be any of these things like masters in your basic science like physics, chemistry, mathematics or even MSc in biology, any of the biology fields you can apply to. Suppose if you are in the final year, then you can also apply for this examination or if you are from M Farm, which is a master's professional degree or mtech or if you're doing your mbbs bds then you can also apply for this one or suppose if you are doing msc in non-biology background but you have your applied courses in any of chemistry physics or mathematics then you are also eligible to apply for this program so you can also pursue your msc or PhD through this entrance examination, which can be a wildlife biology and conservation, you need to have a 50% of your mark in your course subjects. So you will be getting uh, this uh, PhD or MSc through the entrance examinations along with your interview process. If you, after clearing your examination, you will be called for an interview. And if you clear the interview, then the funding or the stipendship will be similar to that of the CSIR funding. So suppose if you are a graduate who has completed a CSIR CSIR examination or qualified CSIR examination or gate examinations or just examination, uh, you can literally mail to PhD at ncbs.res.in and you can tell them like if you are have scored 100 rank within a CSIR or gate or if you have appeared total of 2000 and if you have got those ranks then you can literally mail them instead of applying for this entrance examination. Suppose if you have not qualified then you can actually go and apply for this examination and then an interview process will be taking place. And for this what are the documents that you will be requiring? Of course you need your photograph or your passport size photograph which is 80 KB in size and you need to have your signature and then you, if you are uh, someone who is actually taking a fee waiver category if you're belonging to it then you need to get a recommendation letter from your principal suppose uh, if your fee is actually waived if you're not you don't have to pay a fees then in such cases you need to get a recommendation letter from your principal or your HOD suppose if you're belonging to disability category then for that also you need to have your proof that you'll be uploading at the time of applications and how much is the fee going to be? So the fees for male candidates is going to be rupees 1000 and for female it is going to be rupees 500 and for the rest of the people it's definitely going to be 500 rupees for writing this examination and you have to pay through online mode and for people who have fee waiver situation as I already told you you just have to get a document from the uh, head of the department from the organization where you're studying actually. And how much is the stipend for a PhD you will be definitely getting initially with uh, 31,000 as a JRF and definitely going to be 35,000 as a SRF and if you are starting MSc Biology you will be getting your fellowship of rupees 16,000 and MSc Wildlife Biology you will be getting 12,000 fixed. Uh, so accommodation will also be given for you. And when is going to be this TIFR examination? So the examination is going to be from December 11, 2022. There is a morning session also and there is an afternoon session also. The morning session usually basic science. Suppose if you're biology, then December 11, 2.30 to 5 o'clock, you'll be having this examinations. And the online portal, as I already told you, it has started from 12th of October, very specifically from 8th it open. And the application portal has started from today. Day. and the last date will be 
uh, till October 31st, 2022. And you'll get your hall tickets getting ready by end of the November. And your interviews will usually be in the February and you'll start your program by August 2023. So next we'll be talking about how to apply for this examinations in detail. So now let's talk about the application process. The first thing you have to register, and this is the official website, the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research, GS, which is Graduate School Admission 2023 portal. And this is going to be the registration page where you will be seeing this page. And in this page, you have to go and register. So during the registration process, make sure that you're right typing your mobile number, which is valid and your email ID because all the notification will come through this. So you have to go in for title, your applicant, first name, middle name and surname and the gender, date of birth, your nationality, birthplace and your 10th roll number and when is the year of passing and 10th board and the mobile number and your email address and the next come very important thing select the subject so there is physics chemistry biology computer science system sciences mathematics science education so i'm taking biology or jg bills and the program is phd and integrated phd is available so i'm choosing phd so suppose if you want to do chemistry then click on to chemistry and there you can see phd so right now i'm choosing biology and then click on to PhD and then you will be getting your OTP and then you can proceed on to the next procedure. Uh, the next comes the verification uh, process. So you have to verify all the things are actually correct. If all the verifications are correct, then click on to the check box, which is actually given. If everything is correct, then click on to this. Then you can proceed on to the next one. So after your registration process is successfully done, you will have your registration number. Make sure you have this number very safely. You will be notified in your message as well as in your Gmail also. The next is the personal details. So it's already done. So you have to go to the application. This is more important. So you can check this part, which is go to application. Click on to this and then you'll be redirected to the next page. So the first is going to be your personal details. So you'll be having your personal details. The next is other personal informations, present address and your exam city preferences. So most of the things will be already uh, been uh, submitted over there. You just have to go to are you applying under the disabled category? And in this part, you can either click yes if you're disabled or click on to no. If yes, then you have to upload the documents at the last and your present address and the exam city preferences so you can just check in over whichever city preferences so make sure you select the first preference whichever you wanted to go for and the second exam city and the third exam city and after everything is fine then save and proceed on to the next one so the next is going to be the subject or program details. So I have already applied to biology JG bills and the program is PhD. Next you have to go in for the degrees. So the next is the latest degree. Suppose you are doing your MSc final year or M tech or M pharma. Suppose if you have done M full or some other degree, then click on to others and then please specify if it's other degree. Suppose if it's MSc, then you have to go for which branch, which college and whether you have completed or completing it by the end of the year. And then when is the month and the year you have to do suppose for those who are having some other degree suppose let's take MPhil as an example then you have to specify what is that other degree going to be so the next important thing is in case of my selection for admission you have to make sure you are actually clicking onto this uh, checkbox which is actually given over here the other details are given please tick the campus for which you would like your application to be considered whether to TIFR Mumbai or NCBS or TIFR Hyderabad so you can click TIFR Mumbai, NCBS as well as TIFR Hyderabad if you wish to go for three of these things. Suppose if you want only two or one, then you can click accordingly. I would also like to be considered for integrated PhD program with MSc exit available at TIFR. Suppose if you are uh, studying a final year MSc and if you want to go in for your integrated one, then definitely you can go for it. As I already told you, suppose if anybody is from MSc in non-biology background with allied biology or allied physics, or chemistry then you can go for this program exactly so if you want to consider so then you can click on to this if you have obtained your final degree in 2020 or earlier state what you have been doing since then suppose if you have done your final degree in 2022 or even before that if you're working then write those things over here suppose if you're working in a company or if you are working as a JRF in somewhere else then you write a maximum of 100 characters 
So have you qualified any of these examinations like net, gate or jest or jam? Then click on to this examinations. Have you appeared for any of the TIFR examination return tests before? Then click S yes or no. Then any of the post if you have applied at TIFR, then mention S yes or no. Then have you ever pa participated in BSRP program at TIFR? If you have participated, then click on to the next or S yes and no and then proceed on to save and next. So after completing your personal details, just save and proceed to next. Next is educational qualification and the last is your payment and the document upload section. Suppose if you want to pay online, click on to online. Suppose I told you if anybody wants to go in for fee waivers, then you are requested to upload the signed letter from the HOD or the principal of the college justifying your request for fee waiving on ground of financial distress or an officially rec recognized economically weaker section certificate for a full-time employee then you have to get a letter from the current employer where you are actually getting it with a salary slip F then you have to go suppose if you are paying online then if you are a female candidate as i already told you it's 500 for male candidate it's 1000 and for others also it's 500 the next you can go in for upload applicants photo suppose i'm just taking it as an example as a fee waiver so there is applicants photograph for everybody common and there's going to be applicant signature so you can just go and you can select your photo and you can upload it and the next is going to be the signature then you can just drag and drop over here the next suppose if you want a fee waiver then you have to upload your document over here Suppose if you're working in a company, then you have to put your salary slip over here. So it all the maximum document should be 80 KB. So make sure you're doing it, uh, whether it's a photograph or your signature has to be 80 KB. And the rest of the documents has to be in the form of PDF, which is 300 KB. Next, just declaration. You have to just click onto this and again, type for the capture and preview it and then click onto the summit and proceed on to the next. So the final thing will be your online payment. If you have your online payment to be done, suppose if you want to go in for fee waiver, then you don't have to pay. And suppose you, if you have mentioned your disability before, then you have to upload your document at this time also. And finally pay the payment and submit the applications. So today I was talking about TIFR GS 2023 examinations in detail about the eligibility and the application process and what are the documents that you would be requiring at the time of application and the application process in detail. So if you have any more questions regarding the application process, then you can put your questions in the comment section and we will definitely get back to you. Thank you all of you for your time and I'm going to meet you back again with another wonderful video. Thank you all of you.